Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Becky and today we are going to attempt to build a sauna in our bedroom. It's going to be small, about two person. We're going to try to make it a two person sauna, but we want to make it blend in with the rest of the bedroom so it's going to look like an added on closet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the corner that you see behind me and we're going to remove the drywall down to the studs. We are going to re-insulate it and we're going to put new flooring down and frame it out. So framing is finished but we didn't get a whole lot of chances to film a video with the framing of the sauna so I made uh, cuts in the drywall pretty precisely with my uh, my Dremel Multimax and it's nice it comes with uh, varying level blades uh, this one is just the flat blade but it makes pretty precise cuts in the drywall and I just used a long level and cut it out really quick drywall just popped out and we're done. to complete the framework we had to uh, drive uh, nails into the concrete into uh, pressure treated studs in order to keep up to code and we did that with one of these it's called a powder hammer shot and it kind of loads like a shotgun the round goes in here you can buy the rounds at the hardware store with the hammer shot the round goes in here and the nail goes in the bottom like that sticks out the top and then the round in there, and then you hit that with a hammer. Put the, uh, put the power shot on the ground, and then you whack it really hard with a hammer, and it fires a shot. It's very loud, so please wear hearing protection. But that's it.
technically day three. Day two, we finished the door frame and got the door up. And my lovely husband mostly did it all day yesterday, but we finished the door and now it just needs to be drywalled. Did, did you want to explain the door frame? Okay. All right. So if you look up the sauna doors, they're about 500 plus dollars a piece. So we uh, decided to build our own. So this is simply a cedar one by fours. And all it is, is we did a lap joint. So if back, you'll turn the camera, that lap joint. So all it is is you take a router and grind down this section and then grind down this section and they lap. And all that's being held is glue and staples. And then to fill it in, we just put a mirror. Yeah. And then on the back side, there'll be a, um, a reflective insulation coating. And then the same. The shiplap, the shiplap or or cedar, cedar boards that we're going to do for inside. But. And the door frame itself is just a one by four. And then. We'll header. drywall the top of it and finish it off. And then hinged. And then obviously shimmed. To make sure the door's all level. Yep. So Super we'll, easy. We'll finish it up as soon as we get uh, more of our supplies in the mail. <laughs> but other than that, the door is almost finished. So we're going to finish up the drywall now. Well, I just want to mention a few things that we did with the outside of the door to make it a little bit more pretty and camouflage. I bought some rope at the local hardware store and I kind of just stapled it around. And I used two spools of 50 foot rope, I believe, and then some smaller rope to accent it. And I did a door handle. I just did a monkey knot. And I can show that in a different video, uh, how I did that. And then uh, for the door hinges, we did use regular um, standard hinges, but we did do something called a bomber hinge. And all this does is it sucks the door back in. So when you open the door, you let go, it sucks it closed like that. So one other thing we did with the door, uh, once we have our vapor, we had our vapor barrier in place, we covered it with this uh, tongue and groove stuff that we found at Lowe's, I think. Mm -hmm. And we found it at Home Depot too. It's in kind of a, an obscure closet section or it's in the lumber section. I honestly can't remember because we found it in two different places but it's tongue and grooved and it's super nice. It is cedar. And honestly, if you wanted to do a sauna, this would probably be the best way to go because it's about $30 a box. It covers 15 square foot and it's so much cheaper than buying straight boards of cedar and it's already grooved. Makes it go in really nice. We should have just done the whole sauna with this stuff. But we went the super cheap route and tried to do it all in boards and the boards were so warped that that's why we had to do the shiplap over it. Thank you so much for watching part one of our DIY sauna build. Stay tuned for part two, which will include more about the interior of the sauna. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you next time.